Coffee Break Chinese, Season 1, Lesson 3. Coffee Break Chinese. 我叫彭马克 你好,彭马克 我叫潘永庆 很高兴认识你 or something like that 很好,我也很高兴认识你 <笑> We're delighted to meet each other and of course we're delighted to be here with another lesson of Coffee Break Chinese and we hope that you're enjoying learning Chinese along with us I'm Mark, as I said there in Chinese just a little moment ago, and I'm delighted to be joined by Crystal Orr in Chinese. Pan Yongqing. Okay, now in today's lesson, we're going to be doing a little bit of review, talking about names from last time. And then, Crystal, what are we going to be talking about? We're going to learn today, where do you come from? Ah, okay, and then we'll be able to say where you come from and indeed ask other people where they come from. Mm -hmm. Increasing our range of conversational Chinese to meet more people and to get to know more Chinese speakers. Fantastic. Okay, let's get started. Let's see if we can remember this expression. Let's start. Let's get started. Now, to begin with, we're just going to go through a little bit of what we covered last time, a little bit of review, and that's all about names. We learned some expressions. We learned a, an interesting expression that we use to start a question. What was that again, Crystal? 请问. 请问. Might I ask? Okay, so may I ask, might I ask? And then we also learned to ask about people's names and then to give people's names. We learned about the second name idea, this or the, or the, the family name mm -hmm. and the special word that we used for that. What we're going to do is have a little conversation here and hopefully you'll understand all of this. It will be very similar to the conversation we had at the beginning of the lesson mm -hmm. because, well, that's what we've learned so far. Mm -hmm. So I'll begin. 请问你叫什么名字? 我姓潘 叫潘永庆，你呢？我姓彭，叫彭马克。很高兴认识你。我也很高兴认识你。Okay, let's go through that conversation again. I started by saying, 请问你叫什么名字？ Let's hear that in, in good pronunciation, Crystal. <laughs> 请问你叫什么名字? Okay, we're always trying to give our listeners some time to repeat there. I'll try it again. 请问你叫什么名字? Okay, so then Crystal answered, giving her name. She started by saying, my second name or my, my surname is Pan, and then giving her full name. Listen to how she said this. 我姓潘,叫潘永庆。你呢? Listen again, and this time, repeat after Crystal. And you could put your own name in if you prefer not to repeat Crystal's name. 我姓潘,叫 潘永庆。我姓潘，叫潘永庆。很好， but oh. what's your real name? Well, I would say, of course, <laughs> I've said it in the in the next line. 我姓潘，叫潘马克。非常好。Now, I just wanted to clarify one thing. What you said when you were giving your name, you said 我姓潘, and then you said 叫. You didn't say 我叫, so you can drop the 我 Yes, there. you can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's hear yours again. 我姓潘,叫潘永庆. And I would say 我姓潘,叫潘马克. 对. Okay, and then I went on to say I'm pleased to get to know you, I'm pleased to know you. 很高兴认识你。我也很高兴认识你。
So there, Crystal is saying, I also am pleased to meet you. She's using the expression that we learned last time. Let's hear, I also. 我也 And now run that into the whole sentence, I also am pleased to meet you. 我也很高兴认识你 我也很高兴认识你非常好 Okay, can I ask you one thing about that word know in there, to know? Can you say it again? 认识 认识 It's tricky to pronounce the 认识 Now we were actually talking before we started recording this lesson and we were talking about the sound r. And when Crystal was making the sound, I was trying to kind of interpret in my head what exactly she was doing. And she agrees that if you start with a z, like the, the letter z or z, z, and then take your tongue back further in your mouth, then you should end up with z, z. And then you can say things like 认识. You see it? 认识. It's it's close enough for me. I think mm, we'll go with that. And we're also going to be using this this uh, sound in another word a little later on in this lesson. Let's move on to our new topic today. And that topic is talking about where we're from. So can you give us a, a nice uh, question that we can ask people to find out where they're from? 你从哪来? Okay, let's split this up. We know that ni, because that's you. Mm-hmm. Then the next word was? 从, 从. Meaning from. Okay, so you from, ni, 从. Mm-hmm. 哪, meaning where. Where, okay. N- try it again. 哪. 哪. Mm-hmm. And then? 来, meaning come. 来. Okay, so let's hear the whole thing. 你从哪儿来? 非常好 Okay, we can ask the question, where are you from? But I think we're actually saying, you from where come? 你从哪儿来? 对 So, you from where come? Where are you from? How would you answer this question, Crystal? 我从中国来 Okay, so there you're saying I from, I'm China. assuming China, come. Yeah. I from China come. So we know the I, which is 我, and then from, we already know is 从, 从, and then let's hear the word for China. 中国 中国 and then we put in the come, lai. So let's try saying the whole thing. 我从中国来. 我从中国来. 来. 来. Second tone. Okay. Right. I'm not from China. This is probably very clear from my bad Chinese accent. But I am from Scotland. So how would I say I am from Scotland? 我从苏格兰来 Okay, so it's exactly the same phrase, but we're just changing the country, obviously. So let's hear the word for Scotland again. 苏格兰 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 So can I say 我从苏格兰来 非常好 Okay, now I'm sure our listeners are from all over the world and uh, there are obviously many, many lands and places that we should be learning. We'll stick to some of the, the, the most common ones for our listeners, but there are also some other countries in our bonus episode for this lesson. Let's go to England. I'm sure we've got some listeners in England. So how would you say I am from... Well, actually, let's see the word for England and then we'll be mm. able to make up the sentence. Mm. 英格兰 英格兰 对. So could we say 
英格兰来。对，我从英格兰来。我从英格兰来。对。Okay. What about the United States? 美国。美国 ，Could we say then 我从美国来？嗯，我从美国来。我从美国来。对。Okay. Um, Australia, perhaps. 澳大利亚。澳大利亚。嗯哼，我从澳大利亚来。我从澳大利亚来。很好。Okay, and one more for now. What about Canada? 加拿大。Oh, that's fairly straightforward. Let's、uh-huh. see it one more time. 加拿大。加拿大。啊哈，我从加拿大来。我从加拿大来。很好。Okay. Now, Crystal, one of the things I'm thinking about is that we're saying each of these phrases quite slowly,、mm-hmm. and I would imagine a native Chinese speaker would not be speaking as slowly as this. What I'd like to do then. Is go through each of these sentences. We've got six sentences, six different places, and I'd like you to say them slowly. We'll give our listeners time to repeat.、Mm-hmm. I'll try repeating them, and then after I've repeated them, I want you to say them quickly、In、as Chinese a normal、way. Chinese way of speaking. Okay. How? Okay. So let's go. First of all, I'm from China. 我从中国来。我从中国来 ，and fast。我从中国来。Okay, what about I'm from Scotland？ 我从苏格兰来。我从苏格兰来。我从苏格兰来。Okay, and I'm from England。我从英格兰来。我从英格兰来。我从英格兰来。Okay, and I'm from the USA. 我从美国来。我从美国来。我从美国来。Okay, I'm from Australia. 我从澳大利亚来。我从澳大利亚来。我从澳大利亚来。Okay, and I'm from Canada. 我从加拿大来。我从加拿大来。我从加拿大来。Okay, I think it really helps to hear the the pronunciation as it would be in normal speech because there's perhaps less emphasis placed on all the tones. I think when we're saying it slowly, we're really emphasising those tones, but perhaps a little less emphasis on the tones in normal speech. And I'm taking from this that we don't need to worry too much about the tones because I think context will help. Is that correct? 对。Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, coming up after the break, we are going to be talking a little more about this whole idea of、uh, Yingguan and what that really means, and then we're also going to be talking a little bit about nationalities. So don't go away. We'll be back very soon. We'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you can get more out of your Coffee Break Chinese experience by signing up for our full course on the Coffee Break Academy. 
In addition to the audio lessons, you'll get access to bonus listening materials, lesson notes, and video versions of each lesson, showing the Mandarin words and phrases written out in pinyin and Chinese characters. You can find out more at coffeebreakchinese.com. So far in this lesson, we've been looking at talking about where we come from, and we've learned the name for some of the, the countries. But I have a question, Crystal. Mm-hmm. Where do these names come from? I'm assuming that sometimes it, it, it sounds like the country I'm thinking of, uh, the word that we learned for Australia, which was? Australia. Australia, which sounds like Australia, I suppose. But sometimes it doesn't necessarily sound exactly like the country. For example, the USA. Mm-hmm. 美国. 美国. Yeah, in this case, 美 sounds like May, America. Oh. So May is inside America. Yeah. 国 means country. Okay. But is there a meaning for May? Yes, May in Chinese means beautiful. Ah, so America is the beautiful country then. The beautiful land, yes. 美国. Okay, and do other countries have similar meanings? Yes, for example, um, let's say Britain. Ying Guo. Ying is close to England. Mm-hmm. Guo, country. Ying in Chinese also means brave. Brave, as in a, a brave warrior, for example. That's right. Okay, so Ying Guo mm-hmm. for Britain. Mm-hmm. Um, any others? Uh, yes, uh, for example, France. Fa guo, fa in Chinese means law or method. Oh, mm-hmm. F- say that again. Fa guo. Fa guo. Mm-hmm. Okay, could I say then, if I were from France, could I say, wo cong fa guo lai? Wo cong fa guo lai. Fa guo lai. Mm-hmm, the tones are very tricky. What does that mean? No problem. Let's hear it again. May meaning no. Wenti meaning problem. So you know what my next question is. We've already heard may as in may kuo, but this is a different may. It's different. Ah, okay, we'll get there. I'm sure we'll get there. <laughs> so far in this lesson, we've been talking about where we come from and some place names. But let's add one more thing to this, and that would be nationality. For example, let's learn how to say I'm Chinese or I'm Scottish and so on. Mm-hmm. 我从中国来 That's I'm from China. Yep. So if you add person with China, you get Chinese. 中国人 That's that same sound again, isn't it? We we came across that earlier. Was it 认识? 你对认识 meaning to know you. 认 is fourth tone. 人, second tone, meaning okay. person. So, 人 was the fourth tone, but then 人, second, second tone. tone. And again, what I'm doing to make that sound is basically saying a z, but I'm taking mm. my tongue back backwards in my throat. Mm. So, 人, okay, so 中国人, that's a Chinese person. How do you say I am a Chinese person then? 我是中国人。我是中国人 So, 我是, I am mm-hmm. 我是中国人 Chinese person How would I say then, I am a Scottish person? 我是苏格兰人 Oh, okay, it's, it's straightforward We've already done 我从苏格兰来 mm-hmm. So if I change that to 我是 苏格兰人非常好。我是苏格兰人。Can I try another one? Mm-hmm. 
could I try I am American? Wash. May Quarren. Wash. May Quarren. Okay. What about then I am Australian? Wash. Australian. Wash. Australian. And can I try I'm Canadian? Wash. Canadian. Wash. Canadian. So we've covered Scottish, Washu Su Gerlanjen. English would that be Washu Ying Gerlanjen? Is there a word for British? Ying Guo Ren. Ying Guo means Britain. So Britain person Ying Guo Ren. Washu Ying Guo Ren. Okay. I think we're going to leave it there because we've covered quite a lot today in this lesson, but hopefully now you can say where you're from. And if we haven't covered your country, then maybe we will cover your country in the bonus materials. Now, those bonus materials you can find at coffeebreakchinese.com. You'll be able to access the video versions and that will help you see how these words are written, both in the pinyin type of writing, the, the Chinese written in, in Roman characters, and also with Chinese characters too. There's also lesson notes and bonus audio in which we'll introduce a few more countries, a few more nationalities, and all that's at coffeebreakchinese.com. Don't forget that you can also join us on social media and practice your Chinese with us. All the details are at coffeebreakchinese.com. And just one other thing, we will add some further examples to the information on the website so that you can see some more nationalities so that you can learn how to say where you are from. All that again at coffeebreakchinese.com. That's it for this lesson I was going to say vielen Dank there, but that's definitely the wrong language. I'll say, uh, You've been listening to our podcast from season one of Coffee Break Chinese. To get access to the bonus materials for this lesson, which include lesson notes, bonus audio materials, and video versions of the lesson, where you'll see the words and phrases on the screen of your device, you can take our full online course on the Coffee Break Academy. Head over to coffeebreakacademy.com. Now, if you've enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified when we publish new lessons of Coffee Break Chinese, then make sure you hit the bell icon, which appears. Also, post a comment. Try out your Chinese. Let us know what you think of these lessons. I'd love to hear from you. So that's it for this episode. Thank you. See you. You have been listening to a production of the Coffee Break Academy for the Radio Lingua Network. Copyright 2019. Radio Lingua Limited. Recording copyright 2019. Radio Lingua Limited. All rights reserved.